Welcome to our latest van tour. This is a 2019 170 extended Mercedes Sprinter van with our beach house layout. If you want to get the floor plan for our beach house layout, we will link our van layout guide down below where you can get all the dimensions and specs and all that good stuff of this and join our private Facebook community. But let's jump into this van tour. Some of the features of this van include 500 amp hours of Battleborn batteries, 400 watts of solar, luminous roof rack, a Fres Air 12 volt AC unit, and so much more fun stuff. So come on in and we'll give you the full tour. to mention this is the 4x4 Sprinter van so it is quite a step up in here. Right when you come in we've got the headliner shelf here for more storage. Their passenger seat does swivel so it's a great extra place to sit and then we have their hanging wardrobe closet as well as storage underneath that and then our classic wet bath. If you've seen any of our van tours you have seen this before. It is a separate urine diverting toilet with a tank underneath the van for the toilet and then a separate 15 gallon holding tank for the shower. So this is a wet bath, it has a shower and the toilet in one and a Nautilus self-cleaning retractable shower door to kind of contain all that water in there. This bathroom was just built with FRP board so it's nice and lightweight. There's no tile for the bathroom. A couple of other quick features at the front. We have their 12 volt dimmable LED puck lights running along the ceiling so they have a switch here for that a 110 outlet as well as their s-bar diesel heater controller which is mounted underneath the passenger seat then we come to their kitchen they wanted a nice big kitchen with a large farmhouse sink got this nice brush nickel and black faucet and this does actually detach which is a nice feature because if you wanted to spray something off outside the van you could actually do that with this faucet They've got some storage down below underneath their sink, as well as a 65 liter isotherm fridge and a toaster oven so that they can kind of bake stuff, cook stuff in their oven, as well as an induction cooktop that they can just pull out and plug in when they need it. They didn't want to have the built-in in the countertop because look at this beautiful butcher block. <laughs> One of our favorite features of the beach house layout is how much upper cabinet storage you have because you have upper cabinets running on both sides of the van which are accessible from inside the van. You don't have to go anywhere to get inside those cabinets. So these clients opted for this layout. In the kitchen, we also have a couple other drawers for storage. And one thing the client actually requested was a full pantry. So we've actually never built a pantry into a van before. Really excited how it turned out. They've got tons of storage up above and then down below they have three different pullouts that slide all the way out where they can store their dried goods, their pantry foods, all that kind of stuff. And last but not least, we did a tile backsplash. Love the way this all came together. The client opted for the dark blue theme in here. They wanted the dark blue tile to match their dark blue cushions in the back bed area. So they have their kitchen on the passenger side and over here on the driver's side. They do also have a dresser. So this dresser is a little bit smaller. If you saw our last van tour, a little bit smaller than that last van tour because of the pantry that they wanted. But they still have tons of storage here for clothing and all that good stuff. And then again, the closet in the front. Like I mentioned before, all of this overhead cabinet storage and then we come to their almost king size bed. So this is our convertible table bed area. We've got the table on a lagoon pedestal. So it does swivel from to side to side, which makes it really nice when you're standing in here. It's really easy to get back here, really easy to access the upper cabinets. Again, makes it a lot more functional to move around in here than having a pedestal mounted into the floor. And then all you do is take this tabletop off the pedestal, remove the pedestal, We've got a cleat running on both sides of the benches. The table drops in with another smaller fill-in piece and that creates their almost king size bed. Now we are gonna move on to some of the technical fun stuff, the battery system, alternator charging. Alex is gonna walk through all that, how we heat and cool this van, window covers, all the extra stuff that really makes these vans super comfortable to live in and easy to go off grid in. So let's talk about the plumbing and electrical systems in this van. 
In the back driver bench, we have their plumbing compartment. In this compartment, there is a 33 gallon fresh water tank, a two and a half gallon water heater, their water pump, and their reservoir for their 12 volt Fres Air air cooling system. All that is contained in this bench. Plumbing lines all start here. They do run up to the shower on the driver's side. They come through this U-bench in the back and we actually build a false bottom in our electrical compartment and run them underneath the bench and under the tow kick in the kitchen to run to the sink. This on the passenger side is their electrical compartment. This van is loaded with 500 amp hours of lithium battleborne batteries. It also has a 3000 watt Victron inverter charger so they can charge via the solar on the roof rack. They can charge by plugging their inverter into uh, shore power and the whole system is also connected to the van's alternator for alternator charging. So they have plenty of juice for whatever they are doing off grid. They can run their induction cooktop, they can run their water heater, um, they can even run that toaster oven that we built into the kitchen for them. So now let's go into the van. I'm going to show you guys how we actually uh, control all of those systems from inside the van easily and we'll show you the cooling system and the heater for this van. So let's talk about how they operate their electrical system in this van. We have a 12 volt charger connected right here on this wall. This is a great feature because they can plug in their phones, cameras, iPads, whatever charges with the USB can charge without having to turn their inverter on. But let's say they want to use one of the 110 or 120 volt outlets that are on the front of the kitchen and down here in this bench, then they need to turn on their inverter, which we have built into this control panel. In this control panel, we have their inverter controller. Flip the switch, inverter kicks on. This is also how you turn the inverter on to charge through shore power as well. So once that is turned on, all their household outlets, 110, 120 will work, including their water heater outlet. We also have 12 volt switches here. These are for certain things like their water pump, their gray water tank ball valves, and we also have a ball valve connected to this 12 volt air cooling system that allows them to refill the reservoir without even having to open the bench and get into that compartment. So now let's talk about this Fresair air cooling system. This is a 12 volt system that does not require your inverter to run. It doesn't use a ton of power and it allows you to take that edge off when it is really hot outside. Van life when it's 100 degrees outside is never comfortable, but what we have found by testing this is it does drop the temperature anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees, depending on what it is outside. It's a really cool system. Again, easy to install. We do actually offer this for sale through our website. You can click the link down below if you're checking out a way that you can actually cool your van without having to install an expensive air conditioning system that requires a ton of power. It has multiple fan settings, and again, it does connects to the reservoir and it also tells you when the reservoir is low so that you can again refill that system and keep the cold air blowing. Back to the control panel, we also have the remote for their LED tow kick light. In all of our vans we like to run an LED light strip under the tow kick in the kitchen. This is just really nice evening lighting so that when you're out traveling maybe off grid or doing some stealth camping, you don't have these really bright down lights that people might be able to see through the front or the side windows in the van. So we keep this mounted here. They also have the sensor for their freshwater tank, which tells them how much water they have in their freshwater tank, and their Victron BMV, which gives them accurate readings on their uh, voltage of their battery bank and also how much power they're using or taking in at that time. So all that is contained in this control panel. Behind that is a 12 volt fuse block and we have another 12 volt fuse block in the electrical compartment. This video is sponsored by Blix. Blix makes amazing electric bikes. We have been having a blast cruising around these in the neighborhood. If you are looking for an option that you can easily fit in and travel with in van life or an RV or a camper, this is a really cool option because it's actually foldable and is compact for travel and for storage. It's designed for maximum efficiency for comfort, for cruising around your neighborhood or cruising around on adventures when you are out on the road. We are gonna show you how this bike, bike actually folds up so that you can store it in a van like this and pop it out when you get to your destination, set it up, it's really easy to use. So let's talk about the features of this Blix bike quickly. One, just notice how good looking this thing is. I mean, it's designed for style. You have these really nice, comfortable leather handlebars you have your controller here that when you turn the battery system on and you turn your controller on, you can actually see your how much battery level you have left. 
which pedal assist method you are using, which it has five. This bike goes up to 20 miles an hour. You can get cooking. Um, it also shows you how many miles you have ridden total. So this one we have tested out for four miles. Um, it does have this really comfortable seat on the back. It also has a rack on the rear. They've got really cool accessories if you wanna get a bag or a storage box or something for the back of the bike. These are meant to replace your car in urban areas or if you've got a commute, maybe you could ride on an electric bike. Um, it also has lights on the front and the rear. This is actually a brake light. It's pretty cool. So you know when you're applying your brake, the pedals even fold, which is really cool for easy storage. Um, again, just really high quality the way that it's made, it's engineered. The battery is removable. So say that you store your bike somewhere that is not close to where you're gonna be charging it, you can actually pull the battery off and go charge it and then bring it back and put it back on your battery, on your bike. And we were actually able to connect one of ours to a carrier so that we can tow a little Vance along. He loves to go on bike rides. So let's show you how this thing breaks down. Just like that, you are ready to go on your next Blix bike adventure. If you are interested in checking these out, maybe getting one for yourself, there is a link down below that you can click and go and purchase your own Blix electric bike. On the outside of this van, we added some really cool features. We did the traditional truck liner bed spray that we do around the bottom of the van. This is a rust prevention feature because behind those plastic panels is one of the areas these vans are known to rust over time. So we removed all those panels, had them sprayed back behind, and then had the panels themselves and below the panels all sprayed with a black truck bed liner treatment. That looks awesome. We also sprayed the roof of the van with a white truck bed liner treatment to help prevent rust on the roof so that once their Illuminous roof rack goes on, they never have to pull it off. Again, this does have the Illuminous roof rack, solar mounts, and the Illuminous side ladder, which all just looks awesome and is super functional for additional storage space like stand-up paddle boards or maybe even a Blix bike like we talked about. We really hope that you guys enjoyed this van tour. We love sharing these with you when they are finished. It's a bittersweet process for us because we just finished it and now it's gonna be leaving. The client is coming to pick it up. We can't wait to see their reaction as they get it. If you have questions or comments about this van build, make sure that you drop them in the comments down below. Again, just remember this build was designed for a specific client, a couple to travel on weekend adventures, longer extended trips. So everything in here was their design choice, their layout options, so please be respectful of that in your comments. So if you like this van tour, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time.